The Sun vs. Beetlejuice Which star truly deserves the title of greatest? Did you know that the star we call the Sun is merely a speck when compared to Beetlejuice, a true giant in the universe? But does sheer size truly define greatness? One is a gentle mother, nurturing life each day, while the other is a rebellious artist, ready to explode. The showdown between these two stars is not just a scientific comparison but a profound life lesson. Imagine this, if Beetlejuice were to explode right now, its light would shine as brightly as the moon and last for weeks. Meanwhile, the Sunday, our familiar companion, quietly burns for billions of years. So, who would you choose? Join me as we unravel the secrets of these two stars and discover why we can't stop talking about them every day. As the first rays of sunlight pierce through our windows, we know the sun has begun its journey not just as a source of life, but also as a symbol of persistence and greatness. Yet, across the universe, 642 light years away, another star, Betelgeuse, shines in its own unique way, like a warrior preparing for the grandest battle of its life. The stories of these two stars, while both wonders of the cosmos, are strikingly different. It is these differences that make them iconic in their own unique ways. From ancient times, the sun has been an integral part of human life. The ancient Egyptians worshipped R.A. the sun god as the ultimate source of energy, creation, and life. The Inca civilization in South America built an empire around reverence for Inti, their sun god. With a radius of nearly 700.000 kilometers and a surface temperature of about 5.500 degrees Celsius, the sun may not be the largest star in the universe, but for us, it is the center of everything. However, the sun is not just a massive sphere of hot gas. It is the site of continuous nuclear reactions that provide energy not only to Earth but to the entire solar system. This uniqueness lies in its efficiency. It doesn't need to be colossal to hold the role of the engine in a complex system. In contrast, Betelgeuse is a distant legend, known as the left shoulder of Orion the Hunter. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant star a stage most massive stars undergo before exploding as supernovae. Its radius is 1.000 times larger than the Sunday capable of encompassing the orbit of Jupiter if placed in the Sun's position. Yet, Betelgeuse's brilliance is fleeting. It is nearing the end of its life. Fluctuations in its brightness in 2019 sparked global astronomical concerns that it might be on the brink of explosion. Its transience makes Betelgeuse a unique symbol not of endurance but of radiant moments that captivate. The Sunday at 4.6 billion years old still has enough fuel to last another 5 billion years. Meanwhile, Betelgeuse has burned through almost all its energy in just a few million years. This stark contrast illustrates the difference between a medium-sized star like the Sun and a colossal supergiant like Betelgeuse. Imagine the Sun as a diligent worker, steadily building a legacy for the future while Betelgeuse is an artist, burning through its energy to create the most dazzling performance. When we look at the Sunday, we see a star intimately connected to life, reliable and steadfast. When we gaze at Betelgeuse, we feel the awe of something beyond our reach, a cosmic legend existing in the imagination of humanity. This raises a fascinating question. Between a star that endures and one that burns brightly but briefly, which is truly greater, the answer is not just about size or distance, but also about how we perceive and feel about them. As astrophysicist Carl Sagan once said, we are made of star stuff, and the universe is within us. To truly understand the differences between the Sun and Betelgeuse, we must delve deeper into their structures, roles, and what experts say about them. And that is the next step in this story. Let's explore. If the Sun and Betelgeuse were protagonists in a story, their lives would be written in entirely different styles. One is a tale of stability and resilience, while the other is an epic of fleeting brilliance. So, what defines the difference between these two stars? The structure and physical characteristics. The Sun. The Sun belongs to the category of yellow dwarf stars, sitting at an average size and mass compared to other stars in the universe. With a mass of approximately 2 times 10 superscript 3 kg, it exerts the gravitational pull needed to keep all the planets in the solar system in orbit. At its core, temperatures reach up to 15 million degrees Celsius, 
where nuclear fusion continuously converts hydrogen into helium, releasing immense energy. Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant star with a radius 1.000 times that of the Sun and a mass 10 to 20 times greater. However, its surface temperature is lower, about 3.500 degrees Celsius, giving it a reddish-orange glow instead of the Sun's yellow-white light. Its massive size causes Betelgeuse to lose energy rapidly, giving it a lifespan of only a few million years short compared to the Sun's 10 billion years. Betelgeuse is 100.000 times more luminous than the Sunday and impressive figure. However, its brightness results from its enormous size rather than energy efficiency. Meanwhile, the Sunday, though much smaller, radiates enough energy to sustain life on Earth for billions of years. As physicist Stephen Hawking once said, not all that glitters lasts forever. Betelgeuse, despite its brilliance, faces the reality of depleting fuel and may explode as a supernova at any moment. For astronomers, Betelgeuse is a treasure trove of research. Its irregular brightness offers insights into the evolution of massive stars. Betelgeuse serves as a natural laboratory for studying the final stages of a star's life before it becomes a supernova. Conversely, the Sun is considered the gold standard in astronomy. Every theory about yellow dwarf stars, from formation to decline, is based on what we know about the Sun astrophysicist Eugene Parker, pioneer in solar wind research, famously said, understanding the Sun is understanding ourselves. If the Sun is a classic oil lamp, patiently burning day by day, Betelgeuse is a magnificent firework. A lamp can guide your path while fireworks leave you in awe with their fleeting brilliance. But can a simple lamp evoke emotions as deeply as fireworks? The sun and Betelgeuse teach us about the opposing forces in nature. One represents stability and perseverance, while the other symbolizes ephemerality and grandeur. Both hold unique value depending on how we perceive them. The question remains, do we cherish stability? Or are we drawn to the magnificence of fleeting moments? Despite their differences, both the Sun and Betelgeuse have significant roles and impacts on us. In the next section, we'll explore their direct relationships with Earth and the stories they inspire. When it comes to the role of stars in life, the Sun is the obvious choice as the sole energy source sustaining life on Earth. Betelgeuse, though distant and having no direct impact, still offers fascinating stories, opening the door to a deeper understanding of the universe. The Sun is why Earth is the only life-bearing planet in the solar system. Its consistent light and temperature create an ideal environment for liquid water, a prerequisite for life. Without the Sun, Earth would become a frozen wasteland incapable of sustaining life. Interestingly, beyond providing light, the Sun also produces solar wind, a stream of particles that interact with Earth's magnetic field to create stunning auroras near the poles. These shimmering lights are a vivid testament to the inseparable bond between our planet and its central star. Betelgeuse, though not directly affecting Earth, is crucial for scientific progress. As one of the most easily observed red supergiant stars, it has provided astronomers with a wealth of information about the life cycle of massive stars. In 2019, Betelgeuse mysteriously dimmed, sparking speculation about its imminent supernova explosion. However, Further investigation revealed that the dimming was caused by a thick layer of dust emitted from the star, obscuring its light. This event not only resolved an astronomical mystery, but also deepened our understanding of the behavior and cycles of dying stars. Historically, the sun has been more than a source of life. It has been a cultural and spiritual icon. Ancient Egyptians revered Ra as the supreme god, while many civilizations regarded solar eclipses as supernatural omens. The sun's stable presence makes it a symbol of reliability and strength. Betelgeuse, on the other hand, evokes mystery. Its fiery red glow and erratic brightness have earned it the title of a harbinger star in ancient cultures. Stories about Betelgeuse remind us of our smallness in the vast cosmos. At a distance of about 150 million kilometers, the sun is an indispensable part of our lives. Meanwhile, Betelgeuse, 642 light years away, appears as a mere speck in the night sky. Paradoxically, its remoteness and enormity make it a symbol of the unknown. 
representing everything humanity has yet to discover. A fascinating analogy. If the sun is the warm fire in your kitchen, Betelgeuse is a distant volcano, brilliant and ferocious. Both are awe-inspiring, but in entirely different ways. Both the sun and Betelgeuse are endless sources of inspiration for science and art. From studies on solar winds and eclipses to poems and paintings about the majestic night sky, these stars deepen our connection to the cosmos. But nothing is perfect. Despite their greatness, both the sun and Betelgeuse have limitations. These limitations, rather than detracting from their value, offer profound lessons about the universe, life, and ourselves. The Sunday, though the center of the solar system and the life source for Earth, is far from a perfect star. Modest size, in cosmic terms, the Sun is an average-sized star. Compared to supergiants like Betelgeuse, it lacks the wow factor of size and brightness. Finite lifespan, while it still has about 5 billion years of fuel left, the Sun will eventually become a white dwarf, a small, cold, lifeless star. This reminds us that even the most stable energy sources have their end. Negative impacts, solar storms, massive eruptions of plasma from the sun's surface can disrupt power grids, satellites, and the technology we depend on. Betelgeuse, despite its magnificence, has its challenges. Ephemerality, with a lifespan of just a few million years, Betelgeuse burns through its energy too quickly, leaving no chance for longevity like the sun. Instability. Its brightness fluctuations make it unpredictable and unreliable. This volatility is a clear sign of a star in its final stages of life. Potential hazards. When Betelgeuse explodes as a supernova, it will release an immense amount of cosmic radiation. Luckily, it's far enough away not to harm Earth. But a similar star closer to us could have devastating effects. From the Sunday, we learn the value of stability and patience. Sometimes, Greatness doesn't come from being flashy, but from fulfilling your role reliably. The sun's steadfastness has nurtured life on Earth for billions of years, exemplifying the power of perseverance. From Betelgeuse, we understand that even a short life can leave a dazzling impact if lived to the fullest. Betelgeuse is more than a star. It's a symbol of burning brightly, living grandly, and making the most of fleeting moments. Though vastly different, both stars teach us one thing, there is no single definition of greatness. Greatness is not about size or duration, but about how you impact the world around you. As Carl Sagan once said, we are made of star stuff. Everything we have, from the elements in our bodies to planets and even our thoughts and emotions, originates from stars that burned bright billions of years ago. The sun and Betelgeuse, in their unique ways, contribute to that grand narrative. And so, we've journeyed through the fascinating stories of the sun and Betelgeuse two contrasting icons of the universe. One is the Sunday close and steadfast, a bringer of life and stability. The other is Betelgeuse, distant yet radiant, inspiring awe with its fleeting grandeur. Yet, the question remains, does greatness lie in endurance or in fleeting brilliance? What do you think? Which star truly deserves the title of greatest? Or should we redefine greatness entirely? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear your ideas, stories, and insights 